It's International Nurses Day today. Nursing Union Denosa is currently hosting a function to celebrate healthcare workers. The issue of migration of nurses from other countries post COVID 19 will be discussed as well. This year's theme for the International Nurses Day uh, from the International Council of Nurses is Nurses, a voice to lead, invest in nursing and respect rights to secure global health. The Minister of Health, Dr. Joe Patla, and Denosa President Simon Klungwani and ICN board member for the African region, Andre uh, Gitembagara, will address the thousands of nurses from across provinces who will be joining the commemoration virtually from various healthcare institutions. Let's take you live to the proceedings. Some three months. Some they extend two months, some is 12 months. It shows there are nurses who are unemployed in the country. But why keep them in on, on temporary contracts when you need them? Because they are servicing the points. The statistics is telling us mental health is going high. We need more nurses to deal with that. The statistics, statistics is telling us that we ignored chronic treatment of chronic illnesses. You need more nurses to take care of that. And that happened because nurses were taken away from their chronic um, management of chronic diseases. And they were taken away to go and do vaccination. So you created a shortage decide to come and deal with the pandemic. But that shortage over there is now coming out to show that we ignored even the immunization of children has gone backward. So as a country, we need more nurses. There should be no reason why the nurses are still on temporary contracts because Continuously, it shows we need them. And currently, nurses are dying. Some are retiring. They are never replaced. Because there's what they call, I think they call it technical moratorium. When people want to speak nicer English, they call it technical. But moratorium is moratorium. If you don't want to employ, you don't want to employ. Because if there's a shortage, there's always be a shortage. So we're calling upon even the media to expose this information. We want our government to appoint people, even the private sector must appoint people who are currently qualified nurses for that matter. Soon, because if they don't do that, the UK is going to steal them from our country and our grannies who need to get treatment in the hospitals will not get treatment because we have created that situation. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for listening to me. Program Director, thank you for the opportunity. Let me say, Zakensa Inko Mu. Thank you very much.